scientists are supposed to have some evidence that leads them tentatively to some conclusion or to some action. They're supposed to be able to show that to other scientists, any interested person, in fact, who's willing to understand what it is that was used as evidence, should be able to say, yeah, I agree with that. That makes sense, using rules of inference that we've used for, since Aristotle. What they look for is surrogate markers. Now, have you heard that term battered about? Surrogate markers means, well, it doesn't seem to do anything for the disease, but it does every now and then do something for the level of CD4 cell that we measure, or it does something for this or that. Not that anybody really knows whether you want more or less CD4 cells at any particular time in your life. A lot of diseases cause CD4 to go up. A lot of diseases cause them to go down. Nobody's even sure if a CD4 cell is always a CD4 cell. Just it's a marker on the cell at the time that they do this little counting procedure, which is to stick a fluorescent tag on there and say the ones that light up have CD4 on the outside. And we don't really know what those cells do. The immune system is incredibly complicated. And immune the immunologist brains are not nearly complicated enough to deal with it. We have these little, you know, there are theories all over the place, but no real competent immune, immunologist would tell you that CD4 levels was a sufficient a surrogate market for anything until we know more about it. But that's what they're using. That's what the FDA is saying, yeah. You don't have to show that it helps them. These protease inhibitors, the same thing. You don't have to show that it helps the patient. You don't have to show a single life saved. All you have to do is show some little clinical indicator has changed in a way that somebody is hoping is going to make you better.